And I have the pleasure today of uh, bringing forward petitions representing 5,000 signatures of Albertans calling for the government to implement right now National Public Universal Pharmacare. Um, these signatures were collected by 18 Alberta organizations representing seniors, labor, healthcare workers, and healthcare advocates. And they've joined forces because of their commitment to seek action on Pharmacare now to form the Alberta Pharmacare Working Group. Many of those groups include the Alberta Federation of Union Retirees, the Alberta Council of Aging, the Canadian Health Coalition, Friends of Medicare, the Seniors Action and Liaison Team, Seniors United Now, United Nurses of Alberta, and the Health Sciences Association of Alberta. These organizations have invested considerable efforts in going across Alberta to showcase the widespread support by Albertans for the long promised and not yet delivered National Universal Public Pharmacare. In their words, this is the unfinished business of Tommy, Doug Tommy Douglas's vision for Medicare. This support is echoed in the Angus Reid poll showing 92%, that's 92% of Albertans, fully support a national public universal drug care plan for Canadians. This pharma care working group shared with me and wish to share with all members of Parliament the growing frustration in their province with the high prices Canadians must pay for drugs as most lack any drug plan. And the result is many fail to take their medicines, can't afford their medicines, and they end up in the hospitals. Therefore, organizations like the Nurses Association and healthcare workers are calling for action on, on uh, Pharmacare now. They speak from personal experience. The health care providers are seeing these issues occur when people come to the hospital. But they are, sh are heartened when the report by the Parliamentary Budget Officer almost two years back estimating savings of over, savings of over $4 million if we had a national pharmacare plan. And the, they are also heartened by the fact that the Standing Committee on Health unanimously that's Liberals, Conservatives, and New Democrats unanimously supported the introduction of a National Public Universal Farm Care Program. So I committed to them that I would bring these to, to uh, the Hill and I would reveal to the House of Commons the support for Farm Care from my province of Alberta. And uh, I just want to give you an example of the array of communities across the province. This isn't just from the capital cities of Edmonton and Calgary. Um, there have been letters written to the Minister of Health and signatures on the petitions from Airdrie, Beaver County, Bellis, Calgary, Chestermere, Chapman, Cochrane, Edmonton, Egremont, Fort McMurray, Grand Prairie, Hinton, Lac La Biche, Lacombe, Lethbridge, Medicine Hat, Penhold, Red Deer, Sherwood Park, St. Albert, and Tofield, to begin to list just a few.